coach defensively, how much improvement has JV made? A lot, but he's he's really worked at it. Um, you know, he's JV is such a great kid. I mean, he really is a is, is a high character kid. Works his tail off. Comes from a unbelievable family. Uh, that's important. Uh, their their character character matters, man. He's a uh, uh, he's, he's one of those yes sir, no sir kids that, um, the more you get on him, uh, he just, um, takes it and keeps going. You know, he's, you know, he's, his motor's got so much better. You know, when he got here, you know, he's, he played hard, but he didn't know how to compete. Um, you know, the thing about rebounding is when the ball hits the rim, it becomes a competition. Uh, like the first 10 minutes against, uh, Alabama, uh, they were out competing us on the boards. But from the 10 minutes on, on I think we out-rebounded them for the next 30 minutes because we out-competed them. You know, it was a competition. Everything's a competition in basketball. Um, you know, we had, uh, Terrence is not there yet, but he's a freshman. You know, I, I look around at the country at all these freshmen. You know, I wish I, I, wish I could uh, consult with their families and tell them to leave them alone. Let them fail. Let them get through their adversity. You know, don't try to save them or help them. Let them have it. It's good for them. You know, it's so good for them. But there's there's so many parachutes out there. You know, sometimes sometimes you don't need to parachute because they're they're gonna get it. They're gonna fail at some point. You know, I think earlier the better. Um, JBA sat on the bench last year. People forget Jamal Shedd sat on the bench. You know, Terrence Arsenault is getting to play way more than uh, Jamal Shedd did. You know, but the problem, here, here's the biggest problem with these kids, is what other people are saying that have no idea what they're talking about. You know, it's like Terrence had that great game against Oregon, right? So what do you think people were saying after that? What do you think? One and done. Really? Oregon didn't guard him. They played a zone. There was nobody within 10 feet of him every shot he took. Now, this team guarded tonight. Look what he did. He turned over four times. There's a lot of difference playing against a zone with no pressure versus somebody up into you. Terrence is very good against pressure right now. You know? So is he ready for uh, being a pro? Of course not. But the problem is everybody thinks he is. So now you're, fe- you're facing these expectations. Um, and, and Terrence knows he's not. Um, and I wish people would quit writing that stuff. You know, it's... Um, it's growth. You gotta grow. You know, um, I remember when this one here was a freshman. You know, this is, uh, he was playing with some, some really good players. Well, what year in school is he? What year is this for Marcus? Well, I'm asking you guys questions now. I mean, you ask me, I answer yours, right? Well, you gotta answer mine. What year is Marcus? Four, four. Okay, come on, snap up, fellas, wake up now. What year is Marcus? Four. Okay, Andy, did you answer? Yes, sir. Okay. Senior. Okay, see him, fourth year. Okay, fourth year. How good was he in his freshman year? Pretty good. Not nothing special. Okay, well look at what year's Terrence? Freshman. Yeah. yeah. I was watching uh, Memphis play the other day. Memphis has gone from having the youngest team, the oldest team in college basketball. They're really good. I mean, they're really good. But they have all older players. I mean, they're really good. The older you are. In basketball, the better. I keep going back to the year we went to the Final Four when <clears throat> Kentucky and Duke had those great recruiting classes. And neither one of them made the tournament because they had a bunch of Terrences. They had a bunch of Jerrises. You're not going to win with them dudes. You're just not. But everybody thinks you should because of where people do what? Come on, follow me now. They ran. So they, if they're pros, they got to be really good. No, they're not. They're going to be good five years from now. And the NBA don't care how good they are now. They just have, they just care how good they think they can be five years from now. So what they're going through now is failure. So don't be disappointed in them. Don't act like they did something wrong. They didn't do anything wrong. They're 19 years old. If I, if I was in the last year of my contract and I had to start five t- t- terraces, I would get the four cell sign up. Because I get fired. You won't get fired playing those dudes against the schedule we play. Because you're going to lose. They're not ready to help you win. <laughs> but everybody says, yeah, but so-and-so said he's going to be 
projected to be here in the draft. He was, what's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with Terrence. He is a freshman on a top 10 team in the nation. 